There he is. Please, once again, give a big, loud, warm welcome for the one and only Sean Kennedy. Woo! Sean! with Mark Splahetka. <laughs> no. <laughs> clear that up. Sounds like a trouble word. Welcome to the EEOC portion of your show, ladies and gentlemen. I am both black and a woman. So we like to call two birds with one stone around here. So. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for coming to my show in my go away jeans. Thank you, thank you. In the past 12 months, I've lost 122 pounds. And I did it just by telling people that I lost 122 pounds. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> You're like, yay, good for you! Why shouldn't I have applause? <laughs> you guys don't fucking know me. <laughs> You're like, oh, good for her. She can do what I can do. It. No, you can't. <laughs> that was a like surgery of some sort, right? I don't know. So I love a little bit. Like when you see somebody like I at work, you know, I buy a new shirt and I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I, I lost five pounds. Your biggest, oh, you look fantastic. And I go, oh, thank you. <laughs> Just, you know, walking and drinking water. <laughs> what are they going to say? No, you didn't. Nobody's ever going to say that. <laughs> say. Um, had some breakup issues. Let's call them issues. Issues? You want to go with issues? Break okay. away. Mm. Ooh, girl, you and my liver, seriously. <laughs> Not getting along. So I was dating this guy, right? And he was in the military for a while. He was in the reserves. So he was doing logistics. So he's supply chain, which means wherever anything had to be, he had to get it there. That was his job, right? Which means people are shooting at them all the fucking time. Right? <laughs> They're trying to blow their shit up, you know? So he's having trouble sleeping, I'm trying to be the good girlfriend, you know? And I'm like, well, do you think it might be like post-traumatic stress, you know? And he goes, um, to be honest, I kind of think it's the stress of this relationship. I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> So it's not war, it's me? <laughs> is, is that what you're telling me? You know? Well, you're so demanding. Oh, I want to go to fucking Olive Garden? That's worse than getting shot at? Really? <laughs> is that what it is? I like breadsticks. Is that, is, is that like, you know, people blowing shit up? You got roadside bombs? I want to go to Olive Garden? <sighs> Your voice. What the fuck is wrong with my voice? What the fuck? <laughs> war issue. Fuck you, okay? <sighs> so anyway, I'm single. <laughs> so if you know anybody, you know, I'm looking. There's that. My mom called me and she honestly goodness was serious. She goes, me and your daddy prayed about it. And we think it's okay if you want to have a baby out of wedlock. <laughs> wedlock, you know? So it's just like, I was like, ooh, wish you would have told me that in March. Oh. Oh. That's not funny. I'm like, it's not 35. Of course it's fucking funny. By the way, did you know that your other daughter is a big old fucking lesbian? Like walking around licking women like poster stamps. Did you get that permission to do that? Did you, did, did you pray about that and tell her that was okay? So Y'all cool with that, right? Y'all okay with that? Okay, good. <laughs> My mom was sick for a while. She was actually on life support. And I know, she's fine now. It's okay. Uh -huh. But thanks for your concern. I appreciate it. Um, but like, when she got home, she couldn't find anything, right? So she calls me. She goes, um, I just feel like I'm all turned around. I can't find anything. Have you seen my purpose then? No, ma'am. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, I know I had some Xanax. Have you seen my Xanax? Mm, no, no. 
I can't find any of my clothes, my jewelry's gone. We didn't know if you were coming back, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right? It was like 60-40 there for a minute, okay? I was under a lot of stress. I don't know if you heard, my mom was on fucking life support, okay? So I took some Xanax, whatever. I was the life of the fucking waiting room, though. <laughs> I was like, I was giving crochet lessons, you know? I was telling jokes, doing stand-up and shit, you know? It's kind of fun. But, uh, yeah, so. A little bit about me. My mom's name is Jacqueline McAllister Scott Kennedy. And that bitch named me LaShondra. <laughs> I just don't call her. <laughs> yeah, um, I have a master's from the Citadel in Civil War history. That's not a joke. It's funny because I'm black. <laughs> and every time I say that, I want to punch my advisor in her fucking face. <laughs> Follow your dreams. Do what you want to do. I'd like to have a fucking job. Make some money. Because it turns out that um, white people in Charleston don't want to get their Civil War history from a large black woman. <laughs> Something about me having an agenda and brainwashing their fucking kids. That's just what the affidavit said. I can't prove that. All right, guys, that's my talk.